from the 1980s or between 1980 and 1990, individuals with autism were often in special needs schools or programs that looked after them and, and taught basic life skill, skills and independence. Um, before 1984, um, funding was very much limited into the services that were outside of school funding programs and therefore parents with children with autism or any kind of disability for that matter were left responsible to fund services such as speech therapy, occupational therapy um, and of course music therapy was still very, very new in Australia at that stage um, and still finding, it feet, finding its feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's just been a growing awareness of autism in general. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, after this time, after 1984, when our Labor, our Labor government Prime Minister, Bob Hawke, he introduced Medicare, um, where the federal government funds health professionals, including doctors, allied health professionals and psychologists through Medicare funding. Um so basically this funded private healthcare settings which are run as businesses. So in 2008, the federal government launched a funding program that was called um, Helping Children with Autism or otherwise known as HACWA. Um, that funding basically provided uh, a capped funding for diagnosis and assessment of children under the age of seven. Um, and using Medicare billing. Uh, the HACWA funding also included intervention funding. So that kind of funding HACWA has now finished um, because we have recently, well, when I say recently, it was in 2016 that um, a federal um, funding body happened, which was the National Disability Insurance Scheme, um, otherwise known as ND NDIS. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.